Hello, today I'm going to show you how to save files in VB.net. It's not difficult, but there are some little tricks that you need to learn. So first let's open up Visual Studio, whatever flavor you have. I have 2010. And the first thing we want to do, uh, for those users in 2005 or 2008, we want to make sure that um, we're all on the same page. So if you go to the Tools menu, drop down to Options, and then in the Options window that opens, select Projects and General. There are a couple of, of things here to point out. Number one, the project location can be changed here. More importantly, this checkbox needs to be checked. Save new projects when created. I find this is quite helpful. So if you haven't done it, check the box and press OK. All right, so now we're ready to make our new project. This project is going to be ultra simple. There won't be any code. The only thing I'll teach you how to do is add a couple of icons to your project. Close the project, open it again, and look at the solution, and also look at the executable that you can send to your friends. So either choose New Project here, or choose New Project here. Okay. Now we're going to create a Windows Forms application, which is the default setting. The location, I'm pleased with this location. If, if this is not where you want to save it, you should click on the Browse button and find it. Um, Students uh, of mine should choose their uh, home directory on their uh, network drive, uh, perhaps create a Visual Basic um, folder, and keep all of your applications in there. Now, notice this is just a generic tutorials folder that I'm saving my, um, my applications in. And I don't have to create a folder because I've checked the box here that says Create directory for the solution. So the directory name will be the same as the name of my application and which I'm calling my first app. Notice that the, that the solution name was also named the same thing. When you're happy with the location and the name and the fact that you're creating a directory, press OK. This opens up the first window that you see, the form window. Now, your toolbox may not look like mine here. Your toolbox may be hidden. If so, there's an Auto Hide button that you can press. So drag or hover over the toolbox. Come here and pin the toolbox so that it's always open. It's a helpful little piece. Okay, so if we click on the form, the first thing I want to do is simply change the icon. Now. Visual Basic, the old Visual Basics, used to ship with lots of icons, and I have a whole bunch of those old icons that I have saved and zipped together that I have sent to my students. You might want to look around on the web for some cool icons and place them in a, in a folder um, where you can access them. So my students should have the icon folder and have it accessed. So I'm just going to choose my, choose my icon and there my VB icons here. I'm just going to choose the Earth here. And notice that now the icon shows up on the top of the form. Okay. And now if I save the form, okay, or save the project, save all, all right, my application is ready to go. So I can close the application and then open up the folder of my tutorials and notice that my first app folder was created for me. So let's log into there, click in, and you'll see two icons. One is a, the solution for that application I've just created, and the other is a folder. We'll get to the folder in just a second. So to open up the thing that you just created, simply click on the solution again, double click it, that will open up Visual Basic Express, and we're back to our code window. One thing that's very 
um, useful with Visual Basic or any of the visual languages is to make executables that you can give to your friends or sell to third-party clients. So to make our little application that really does nothing a little bit more exciting and professional looking, we would like to go to the Project tab and drag down to My First App Properties or whatever the name of your application is, Properties. Okay, You can change the assembly name here. Um, you can change which form is on the startup and you can also change the icon. So for example, I'm going to change my icon. I need to navigate toward my icons folder. Choose the earth. Okay, and so now that icon will appear whenever I send out my program or the, that will be the icon of the executable file. All right. To make an executable that we can send to our friends and perhaps sell, we need to first simply run the program. Again, our form, there's nothing special about it, but nonetheless, we can run it, we can compile it. That has now taken our code and made a window that we can move around. But again, it doesn't do anything. We can stop that program from running. And now if we go back and look in that folder, my first app folder, there are several things here. This form1designer.vb, this is where the code for that form will reside. The bin or the binary folder is an old holdout folder from years ago. And this is where all the binary files are. So if you double click that and then double click debug, you can see my first app.exe will show up in this folder. And at this point, you can double click it and it runs just like an executable would run. This is the file that you can send to your friends and again, your clients. So finally, all we have to do is press the save all button. The files are already so, uh, saved in the right locations for us. We can close the application, and that concludes this tutorial.